Hey, com hey comments, it's little stars when I'm on here, and I'm back like two minutes later. Anyways, so I just got done making the uh, uh, fat sucking and the tonsil thing, but um, I ran out of time. So all we need to do is just quickly cauterize this here. Get uh, those bleeders. And then recovery, then another surgery. I'll clean surgery. out the mouth with some irrigation and suction, and then we're all done. Not doing anything. Thank you. We'll send our patient to recovery for 8 to 10 hours, and more than likely, he'll be able to go home later today. Once he's sent home, our patient will be put on a course of antibiotics. He'll need to keep hydrated with cold water or sports drinks. And if he gets hungry, he can have cool, soft foods like fruit pops, gelatin, sherbet, pudding, and, of course, ice cream. Mm, getting a little hungry? Yes, I want Thanks my Thanks for stopping by SurgerySquad.com. While you're here, check out some of my other spectacular surgeries. They'll always stand the test of time, unlike my hairline. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I just went through like two minutes of that. So let's. Well, I already done the gallbladder, so let's go into that stomach area again and let's do some appendectomy. I think it's hot spring. I gotta remember to pause. Appendectomy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, let's remove a, a um, appendix. Possibly something, depending on how fast this goes. And I'm just gonna pause for the Okay. Welcome to Surgery Squad's virtual laparoscopic appendectomy. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I'll be assisting you with the surgery today. <laughs> An appendectomy is needed when there is a blockage between a patient's appendix and intestine. The blockage develops over time and may cause occasional pain. However, left untreated, the patient's appendix could burst, causing severe internal infection and potentially death. <laughs> Today we'll be using a minimally invasive technique called laparoscopy to remove our patient's appendix. Laparoscopy reduces the exposure of internal organs to contaminants, shortens recovery time, and results in less post-operative scarring. Our patient is a female in her 20s that has been experiencing severe pain in her mid-abdomen, vomiting, and a mild fever. These are all common symptoms of appendicitis. Let's scrub in before this gets any worse. Well, come on, Daisy. Our patient has already been prepped and sedated, thanks to our dedicated nursing staff and anesthesiologists. By the way, guys, in the First, background, you'll probably hear my mom and dogs. Or breathing tube in the patient's mouth oh, and into her throat to help her breathe during the operation. Oh, okay. So, so finally, something I can do? Thank you. Since I've already oh. taken care of inserting a catheter oh, into her bladder, we can move on to more what? important steps. You know what? Thanks to the advancements in medical technology, <laughs> oh, our patient dun, doesn't dun, have to, dun, dun. to have her appendix removed. Instead, we'll strategically place special surgical instruments, called trocars, through small incisions in her abdomen to perform the surgery. We'll begin by making one small incision in her upper abdomen, one in her lower abdomen, and one in her navel, also known as the belly button. Oh, wait, I did this with the, uh, basically the same thing with the, uh... Gallbladder removal. Ha! Huh, I didn't say colon. I always say colon. Don't know why I get the gallbladder. That like a pro. And colon now mixed we up. Now to pump carbon dioxide gas into the patient's abdomen to obtain a better look. I love it says up area. here. Fill belly with gas. That's funny. Yeah, the nip your tongue, 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 tongue. How does the air taste? Images from the camera are projected on our monitor to allow us to inspect our patient's abdomen and confirm that the appendix is infected. The inflamed and swollen area you see is the patient's appendix. Our next step is to remove it before it becomes an even greater problem for our patient. The appendicular artery needs to be sealed using a diathermic instrument which uses extreme heat to cauterize the artery. Well, that explains like with a lightsaber, you don't scissors. bleed. That makes mm -hmm. sense. Oh, I'm supposed to do that. So far, so good. Keep it up. The appendix now needs to be lassoed with a mm, detachable that's snare. Lasso. Yay. Take the detachable snare and slide it over the appendix all the way to the base. Repeat this step two more times. 
placing two more loops above the first one. I'm really not doing much here. What can you do it three times? Almost there. You expect the now we need to remove the appendix. Use the scissors oh, to snap between the Witchy. loops. Hashtag the glitch. A little pus comes out, indicating that the appendix is infected. Ooh. Don't worry about it, though. We'll clean up everything. To remove the appendix from the abdomen, place it into this specimen bag and pull it out through the trocar. Okay, let's just Now on to the cleanup. Down. We've inserted a device that sprays saline into the abdomen. Move it around so that everything gets sprayed clean. Mm, okay. With the flick of a switch, Rounder. our saline is suctioned okay. back into the same device. Just like that. Finally, we'll remove the trocars and close the incisions with a few surgical staples. Again, staples, really? I'd, I'd rather have... I really don't like the idea of surgical work. staples. The length mm -hmm. of the I think they're just like a the bad idea. Process following an appendectomy you usually saw, varies man. based on the severity no, of the appendicitis and the person's age. Luckily, so. our patient is relatively young and healthy. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure like staples early. can rust or something. Should be clear to go well, home within a day if there are no complications. Yeah, but still, After being released from the hospital, it is recommended that she limit her physical yes. activity to help the tissues heal faster. But she will need to walk short Ew. distances several times a day to speed up the recovery process. And when they have to, like, she should make a full recovery yeah. from her appendectomy ah! within four to six weeks since her appendix did not rupture. At a rupture, a full recovery may have taken up to eight weeks. And that's an appendectomy. You did amazing. Why not try your surgical skills and another surgery here on SurgerySquad.com? Okay, so I've already done the global row and I'm not doing that one. So I'm going to end this episode here. Please leave a like, comment, rate, subscribe. My name is Tarzan. One here, I'm done. Bye!